and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. All right, hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your ancestral messages this week. Uh, Taurus, I also do your weekly general tarot reading uh, for your zodiac sign, which I'll leave a link to over here. And I also just did your spirit guide messages. I'll leave all the links I do for you, Taurus, and through tarot readings over here for you to check out. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition, Taurus, because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I promise you, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now, if you find some cards that resonate with you, Taurus, let me know in the comments below how they do and what cards they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right? And also, I would like to ask for you, Taurus, to, if you would like to take that extra step to give this video a like and subscribe as well, if you find some uh, tarot cards that resonate with you, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative when you guys take the extra time to do that for me. But yeah, Taurus, I just want to say one last thing before we get into your ancestral, our ancestor tarot reading, is that uh, I feel like any tarot reading should just be here to give you some perspective, some food for thought as you go throughout your life. I don't feel like any tarot reading should make a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not the tarot cards, not anybody else's, just you. So with that being said, let's get into your ancestral ancestor reading my beautiful Taurus. We're starting out with this base spread here and then I'll be pulling cards as I see necessary Taurus. So keep that in mind. Uh, but let's start with your animal oracle cards. We have the Kiwi spirit coming in for you, my beautiful Taurus. So this is a card, I'll read it out for you. Do a walking meditation every, every day, I can't read it because when it's upside down, every day this week. So Taurus, when I see this card, this is more of like a push. I see this as for an individual to take some time, take a moment to pause. Now, when you get uh, called uh, to Taurus to meditate, that's usually how like, I mean, the otherworldly will communicate with us is during that time when we are in silence, Taurus. So when your ancestors are asking for you to do a walking meditation, this is generally a time that you might even anticipate um, your ancestors making their presence known by leaving some breadcrumbs in your life, I always like to say. And by breadcrumbs, by just, you know, like leaving, like if you associate like a certain feather with your family, or a certain bird, or a bug, like a ladybug came to mind right now, right? Maybe if you were to go out in nature a little bit, you'll, or not even just in nature, but just go out, you might find these signs that they're walking, your ancestors are walking with you, Taurus. We also have the electric eel spirit, number 24, equaling to six in numerology. So write that down, my beautiful Taurus. And this card is saying, bring your ideas to life. So these two cards right here, this is definitely a calling from your ancestors, Taurus, to really think about your next game plan, I feel, right? It feels as if like, for some of you Tauruses, you've been a little bit out of balance, perhaps a little bit of, um, distracted. Maybe you have started to lose sight of your goals or where it is that you're trying to go. And now you kind of need to have that reminder, or perhaps you could even take this in a way, depending on the messages, um, that you receive in your, when you when you connect with your ancestors, Taurus, that, uh, they might be trying to lead you down a different path, but we'll see with some other... Eh, almost lost this card. We'll see with some other cards. Taurus, what is up with that? Um, we have the Lover's card coming in here. Now, this is the representation of big decisions. It makes sense as to why you're being asked with that Kiwi spirit, Taurus, to really start... Uh, take this time to really pause and think things through. I can't help but feel like, Taurus, that your ancestors are really trying to make a connection with you, to communicate something with you, to show something to you through meditation. So what I do want to just suggest, Taurus, is to start, um, whenever you are clearing your mind, uh, really pay attention to um, the imageries that you see while you're meditating. Even when you're sleeping is something I'm getting as well. When you're sleeping, pay attention to the signs, pay attention to any detail in there, write down, get a dream journal if you don't already have one towards and really start, um, Right now, I can't help but feel like I keep on hearing clues and like now I'm hearing the blues 
Blue's Clues theme song, which I haven't watched since for like over 20 years at this point now. Um, I feel like they're leaving some, some clues for you, your ancestors are Taurus. And this Nine of Wands comes in as well. So definitely this is usually a card I say is uh, for somebody who is about to be taking a path by themselves for a little bit, right? And this is kind of like a solo energy in the name of building some character development. As an example, this would be like someone um, going out and joining the mil uh, the army or the military, for example, right? Where it's just like they are going out of their comfort zone to tap into more of their power, almost to really self-develop, build some character and all that. And it's all in the name of bringing things back into balance. Now I'm going to go back to the original message of what I was saying before Taurus and that it does feel like some of you guys have lost sight um, of what it is that you're wanting to do. And so it's almost essential for you to really, it's almost like just in this spread right here, there's like this push Taurus to truly, how do we say this? It's like your ancestors are really trying to get you back on track. Um, and it's like the way they think the best way for you to get back on track almost is by uh, doing something big um, or taking a pretty big journey or taking the step towards something like towards like a new path towards a new journey. So this would be like, um, you know, if you're considering switching jobs towards, I would really say that um, consider switching jobs right now. This is such a good, this spread in general is such a good sign of like, um, change to, and like allowing change to bring forward that forward movement in your life towards so really keep that in mind so continuing on with these messages we're going to put this to the side perhaps i'll refer to this at a later point in your reading Taurus. but let's get into some more cards now let's see um through your ancestors Taurus. let's see uh what blessings that we can anticipate coming your way Taurus. what is it that your ancestors are trying to bring forward to you what blessings they're trying to bring forward to you right because this way then you can kind of figure out what to like what signs to pay attention for right uh, we are not taking all these. Mm, I guess we are taking these. I just heard to take them all. All right. I normally do not take this many tarot cards, <laughs> Taurus. So this is definitely, your ancestors definitely have a lot to say to you in this regard. I'm holding them all upside down just so you can see them right side up. Um, so just because of that, right? Uh, so let's get into this. Give me a moment, Taurus, though, please, while I take a moment to just take in these cards. So something that I'm call that's calling out to me the most, that I'm focusing on the most right now, are these two pages, Taurus. The Page of Wands as well as the Page of Swords. Pages represents new beginnings, Taurus. And so usually with Wands, it's a new forward beginning uh, in regards to something that you feel passionately about. Page of Swords is usually uh, a card of communication, a card of um, really uh, taking things and experimenting really is something that i'm hearing as well take this time to really experiment when it comes to some type of passion project of yours when it comes to something that you have been considering for a while now right for this nine of wands coming in from before i can't help but feel like this is part of this process where it's like this nine of wands moment ex uh, experience happens through this new beginning with these pages and I feel like it would be really successful for you just because of the Six of Wands here as well. Now, the Six of Wands is a spotlight card, right? When you look at this individual, the spotlight's on her, her hands are up in the air celebrating. It looks like she's at an auditorium, but notice all the flames around there that's uh, encompassing that passion, right? Just a really passionate, successful card when you have this like cushioned in here with these two pages. So I really enjoy that a lot. Now, with this two of wands here, I know I didn't go to this immediately, but in order for this new beginning to come through, again, I keep, I'm going to repeat it from before of where it's just like, I feel like a game plan needs to be developed. I feel like some uh, something needs to be considered almost, Taurus. I don't like, I don't know. I don't know if this is like an energy of where it's like maybe you were have just been distracted or maybe something that you have currently been working on you no longer are feeling the same passion for it, right? And maybe there's like a level of insecurity coming in with that, where it's just like, well, you already started this project, so why aren't you like, you feel almost obligated to commit to it. And I just want to reference back here again, of where it's like, 
I just get so much new, so much new energy with this. I don't get the sense uh, towards that there is a need to try to feed into something that um, in your current state that isn't already profitable, right? Now, I'm not telling you to just wipe your slate clean entirely. Obviously, neither are your ancestors, Taurus. But what I am getting is something's not working out. Something is like uh, trying to, if something's a little bit more difficult to come into fruition right now, or something just isn't work, yeah, just isn't working out, take that as a sign to move into a new direction. Don't feel as if that you need to just continue working harder on that one thing because it's almost like you're. Uh, banging your head against a brick wall and some of you guys probably even feel that as well Taurus. now with this knight of wands as well this is what's really calling out to me this is the energy that you really want to be uh, you really want to be exuding right now my beautiful Taurus. this is a card of where it's like um you're going into like you're taking this new beginning with these pages and you are excitedly going into this you're delving deep into this you're I'm not looking back on it. But again, I want to keep in mind something that keeps uh, popping up in my head is like, don't expect things to be perfect right away. Don't expect this journey that you're taking right now to be just a completely just smooth sailing because that's just not realistic. That's not life, right? If only it was that easy, right? Um, with this world card, this is kind of signifying to me of where it's like, you're going to be doing big changes and when you want big changes when you want big things to occur in your life you have to break these cycles you have to break these cycles but not only you have to kind of make yourself uncomfortable there's a quote that keeps popping up in my mind as well Taurus, that i'll share with you it's from an individual who i love so much named lisa nichols and she has a quote that says your conviction doesn't lie on the same block your conven uh hold on let's take that back right your convenience and your conviction do not lie on the same block and so essentially what that means is that like what you feel uh, passionately about what you feel uh, that you really want to commit to it's not always going to be convenient it's not going to always be easy sailing and so when you feel uh, extremely passionate about something you kind of have to be willing to be inconvenienced and this world card comes in where it's just like you have to be inconvenienced in the sense of breaking those cycles uh, and be open to huge environmental changes is something that i'm getting as well so truly at this time Taurus, i would say just as a strong suggestion to connect to your ancestors just on a personal level outside of this tarot reading just because i really do feel like um during these big changes during breaking these cycles and all that you're definitely going to need some type of support system with you right you definitely don't want to feel alone or left out in the cold at that time very much so like a five of pentacles moment right because you are absolutely not alone taurus and i feel like you kind of need to be reminded of it i feel like for some of you tauruses um i'm getting goosebumps at this time so i know it's a fact um for some of you tauruses i feel like this is a very specific message but i feel like someone recently i know this is an ancestor reading and i guess it can be encompassing this as well because they are your ancestors but I feel like someone recently has passed in your life or in the past, I say recently, but I mean like past couple of years. Um, and they've probably been coming up in your mind really recently and you've probably been missing them quite a bit. Um, and I feel like it's okay to mourn somebody, right? It's okay to miss somebody, but I can't help but get this message that they don't want you tourists to be... Um, to just continue missing them, to continue living your life in a way where it's like you uh, feel as if you have to live uh, your life for them almost is such a random message. It's almost like there's like this fear uh, with you, Taurus, of not wanting to forget about them, right? You don't want to pursue new opportunities coming into your life with this Knight of Cups because it's like you don't want to forget about some type of individual you know but there's just like this constant reassuring message of where it's like it's so it's so weird in what i'm getting but it's like this message of being like they're okay um it's okay to let go it's okay to move on almost it's okay to keep things going taurus i don't know what this is about um for the hopefully it's a message that resonates with someone um because i do feel like it's a very particular message for someone that's like in the moment like really just like 
it's almost like all your energy is being taken up mourning this person, right? And there are no rules when it comes to mourning them, but at least from whoever it is, like whoever it is that I'm tapping into from their perspective, they don't want you to be uh, putting your life on pause anymore. They want more for, for you. So that's where this tower moment comes in that I know some of y'all have probably been looking at this entire time and be like, oh, Valka, what's going on here, honey? Yeah, I feel like you guys kind of have to do away with something. You have to you know it's kind of like this energy where it's like oh i'll start monday right where it's like big life changes and i feel like you need to start today taurus i feel like you need to start today and this new life um you know how you have like have your morning period have your time of you know like even if you're not mourning anybody taurus have your time to just recover mentally and emotionally even just from dealing with the life and being taxed by life right um but after you have your break, be ready to have that tower moment and to really start charging forth towards something completely new. Because this world card, we're gonna be this world card comes in where your ancestors are like, Taurus, buckle up, we're gonna be breaking cycles. And it's on the name of a new passionate beginning for you that's really going to fulfill you, I feel. And the back of the deck energy is the judgment card so it is all about action Taurus. no more laying on the side or sitting on the sidelines no more biding your time no more just like waking up every day and just trying to make it through the day you want to wake up every day with the intention on experiencing something new with the intention on creating something new with your life this is no longer a time of just getting through the day because this is your time to shine Taurus. your ancestors are really trying to push that to you so Taurus, that is the cards that i have for you if you enjoyed this reading be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages until next time my beautiful Taurus, i'll connect with you soon Bye.